Hi everyone, my name is Sachin Ravel. I'm an immigration attorney and partner at Ramchin and Ravel, where we have represented thousands of individuals navigate the complexities of U.S. immigration law. Today's question is, is it safe to downgrade my EB2-based I-140 to EB3? Yes, it is generally safe. Here are some things to look out for. First of all, make sure you keep your academic documentation ready for your attorney or your employer. Make sure you keep your experience letters ready to go. Make sure your employer, if you have the ability to uh, work with them, make sure their ability to pay documentation is also ready to go. These three things are fundamentals to getting your EB2 I-140 approved. They were fundamental to it. And the same things are gonna be needed for the EB3 based downgrade. You also wanna make sure that you file your EB2 to EB3 downgrade as a new case, not as an amendment. If you file it as an amendment, it overrides the EB2 approval. You don't want that, especially in light of what Mr. Charlie Oppenheim is saying. He's the chief of immigrant visa control office at Department of State. He's projecting very aggressive forward movement in the visa categories. So you want to keep that EB2 approval while going for this EB3 downgrade. So how do you do that? You file it as a new case. Of course, there are risks with any immigration process, but this, in my opinion, is a fairly low risk, high reward type of case if your employer is going to back you on it. Also remember that an EB2 to EB3 downgrade case is not eligible for premium processing. USCIS does not premium process a case if it does not include the original labor certification, which the assumption is it was used with the EB2 case. However, if you file your, let's say you file your EB2 to EB3 downgrade today, in one maybe two months, you'll be eligible to upgrade it to premium processing. And you want to do that because if there's forward progression in the visa bulletin, of course, you can file your adjustment of status case based on a pending I-140, but you will not get your green card until the I-140 is approved. And that's it. To recap, it's generally very safe to file an EB2 to EB3 downgrade. If you do not have legal representation in this case and you're looking for it, please feel free to give our office a call. We'd love to work with you. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.